Hey guys, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John, and today we're gonna to be having a look at this. This is a Cesar Guarini Summit Impact. I don't know about you, but this is a very exciting looking gun. It weighs in at over eight pounds, eight pound four. Come to the table, and let's have a look what you get. So here it is, the Cesar Guarini Summit Impact. This gun retails for just over three and a half thousand pounds, and is available in 28, 30, and 30 inch. For your three and a half thousand pounds, you get a hand fitted soft recoil pad for the back. Moving into this, you have always gloss finish on a Guarini, grade three-ish to grade four wood. Greenies vary so much, and they don't even really grade their wood as such, so it's very personal. It's probably the thing to say about all Greenie woodwork, and it's no different on this Summit Impact. That some you might like, and some you won't. However, some person, some people will love the gun that you hate, and so on and so forth. Adjustable comb, and a Monte Carlo stock. Very nice, very handy, and obviously very necessary for the high rib gun. Really good for anyone who's got low shoulders or anything like that. The grip is rather sweeping. It's extremely large, and for the length and size of the grip, it surprised me they don't have more of a full palm swell. However, it's extremely versatile and actually almost like this gun lends itself to being more of a sporting high rib than perhaps an out and out trap gun. As with everything Guarini, you can obviously get upgrade wood, you can get custom stocks, you can get anything made to your measurements pretty much as you like. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to say this, that this gun with the customizable stock, if you like, is available in every custom spec under the sun that you can do yourself. So what you can do is change the overall weight with balancing weights. You can change the rib, the point of impact, the way the cone works, the way the gun handles, literally any characteristic of this gun you can change apart from the way that it fills your hand, unless you order a custom stock spec to your design. So you can literally build this gun however you like. And once you've got it, you can change the way it handles and performs which is quite exciting in its own little way. Anyway, moving on to the action. The action is the fairly standard Cesar Guarini Summit action. There is nothing too wonderful about this, but you know, it works. It's a good action. Gold adjustable trigger, manual safety with selector. Again, all finished in that very nice black. Moving on, the forend is a rounded American style forend with a push button removal system. And the barrels are kind of where this gun gets a little bit more exciting in that they are high rib. More importantly, they are a high adjustable rib. So the high rib is completely parallel and has a small silver mid bead and a large white front bead. Full set of eight extended chokes, as with any Guarini, and your point of impact is adjustable with a small Allen key like this. So as you turn it out, it hits a little positive knocks every full turn and that will raise and lower the front of your rib so you can raise and lower your pattern accordingly so if you want a gun that shoots very high you turn it in righty tighty and if you want a gun that shoots much more point of impact or even potentially a little low you can wind yourself right out very clever very nice and again very adjustable uh, the rib is removable if you so desire so you can pop that pin and that pin out and take the front out and the whole thing will just lift off not that there's any reason to do so but you can if you like. All in all, a nicely put together, but not particularly conventional gun. Anyway, how does it handle? So this 30 inch balances quite well. A touch front heavy on the nose, but actually for what this gun's intended for and the shooting style that suits it, that's perfect. So that balance obviously is changeable because as we said, this thing is customizable with as many weights as you like, but there's something about this gun that really just lends itself to wanting an extra ounce in the front. To which effect I think this same gun, probably the same weights and everything, but in a 32 inch would perform better. Or just the same gun with some extra weights in your left hand. I just feel like because of the total weight and the way that the weight is actually distributed, it's a little bit too fast for a high rib gun, which are generally supposed to be shot a little bit more calculatedly than not. 
Do I like it? For what it is, yeah, I really like it, and it's a very much a horses for courses thing. If you want something that you could shoot absolutely everything with in terms of, oh, I want to shoot skeet, trap, and sporting, all in one gun, this could be for you. The ability to change your height, cast, everything in the face there with the adjustable comb, your point of impact and everything with the adjustable rib, that's a, that's a lot of good things. Your weights, your balances, and the way the gun handles, you can change that too. Or is that too much? I think that's that's my real thing with this gun. I really like it because it can do everything. But I also feel like, to be fair, there's a plenty of guns out there and it's not a bad thing just to have more guns. Have a gun for ski, have a gun for trap, and have a gun for sporting. Where this gun comes in really handy is when we look at this stock and having that Monte Carlo stock with the high rib allows for a gun fit for somebody of a slightly different shape and size by just being able to buy a gun off the shelf without having to have a custom stock or contort their body or anything. So there is a huge place for this kind of gun setup. I like it. I do like it. It's interesting, but it's not for me, I suppose. And that's as simple as that. Because I don't need one. And because I don't need one, I don't want to have one. Do I like it? Yes. Do I want it? No. I suppose that's that's as much as I can say for it. Is it pretty? But it's certainly interesting. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. And I'll see you next time.